Welcome to Creatures and Monsters of Oceania Folklore, an exciting journey into the mythical realm of the Pacific. Join us as we explore the rich tapestry of legends, diving deep into the captivating stories and mysterious creatures that have enchanted generations. From the mischievous Menahune of Hawaii to the fearsome Bunyip of Australia, prepare to be enthralled by the awe-inspiring tales that have shaped the folklore of Oceania. Subscribe now and embark on an unforgettable adventure with us. 1. Taniwa Originating from the Maori mythology of New Zealand, the Taniwa is a legendary creature that can take on various forms, often appearing as a fearsome water-dwelling monster. Some Taniwa are described as large, scaly serpents with sharp teeth and powerful tails, while others are depicted as more benign, resembling dolphins or whales. Taniwa are believed to be guardians of certain bodies of water, such as lakes, rivers and coastlines, and are respected and feared by the Maori people. They are said to have the ability to bring good fortune or calamity, depending on how they are treated. 2. Rainbow Serpent A prominent figure in Aboriginal mythology, the Rainbow Serpent is a powerful and sacred being associated with water, creation and fertility. It is believed to have shaped the landscape, carving rivers and valleys as it moved across the land. The Rainbow Serpent is often depicted as a massive snake or serpent, adorned with vibrant colors resembling a rainbow. It is considered a creator deity, responsible for the birth of humans and the establishment of laws and customs. The Rainbow Serpent is revered as a symbol of life and renewal, embodying the cyclical nature of existence. 3. Bunyip The Bunyip is a creature of Australian Aboriginal folklore, commonly described as a large aquatic animal inhabiting swamps, billabongs and waterholes. The exact appearance of the Bunyip varies across different Aboriginal cultures, with some describing it as a monstrous creature resembling a crocodile or a seal, while others depict it as a more mystical being with supernatural powers. The Bunyip is often associated with darkness, mystery and danger, and its eerie calls are said to herald misfortune or death. 4. Kurangai Tuku In the mythology of the Maori people, the Kurangai Tuku is a bird-like creature known for its hypnotic singing and enchanting beauty. It is said to possess the ability to lure people into its presence through its captivating melodies. Once entranced, victims are unable to resist the allure of the Kurangai Tuku and may become lost in the wilderness or fall victim to its cunning ways. The Kurangai Tuku is considered a guardian of the forest and a symbol of both danger and allure. 5. Mo'o The Mo'o is a creature found in Hawaiian mythology, often described as a giant lizard or dragon-like creature. It is believed to recede in freshwater bodies such as lakes, ponds and streams, where it guards its territory fiercely. The Mo'o is associated with water and is considered a powerful and ancient deity, it possesses the ability to shapeshift into human form, allowing it to interact with humans and potentially cause mischief or harm. The Mo'o is revered and feared, and its presence is often viewed as an omen or warning. 6. Waitoreke The Waitoreke is a creature of Maori and Taranaki mythology in New Zealand. It is described as a semi-aquatic mammal resembling an otter or beaver with glossy, dark fur and webbed feet. The Waitarek is believed to inhabit rivers, lakes and coastal areas, where it is known for its elusive nature and agility in the water. Legends portray the Waitarek as mischievous creatures that can bring good fortune or ill luck, depending on how humans interact with them. They are often associated with abundance and fertility. 7. Hine Nui Te Po Hine Nui Te Po, meaning Great Woman of the Night, is a prominent figure in Maori mythology and the goddess of death and the underworld. She is the guardian of the spirits and is responsible for guiding them to the afterlife. Hine Nui Te Po 
is often depicted as a beautiful and seductive woman luring spirits into her realm. She is also associated with darkness, mystery, and the cycle of life and death. Hine Nui Tepo serves as a reminder of the transitory nature of existence and the importance of embracing the inevitable. 8. Tidalik Tidalik is a figure in the folklore of Australian Aboriginal cultures, depicted as a giant frog with an insatiable thirst. According to the legend, Tidalik drank all the water from rivers, lakes and waterholes, causing a drought and distress among the animals and humans. The other animals devised a plan to make Tidalik laugh, causing him to release the stored water and restore balance to the land. This tale serves as a reminder of the importance of sharing and the consequences of greed. 9. Menehune The Menehune are mythical creatures from Hawaiian folklore, known as small humanoid beings with exceptional craftsmanship and supernatural abilities. They are said to be shy and reclusive, residing in the deep forests and valleys of the islands. The Menahun are known for their skill in building structures overnight and are believed to have constructed various ancient sites in Hawaii. They are often depicted as mischievous and protective, playing tricks on humans who disrespect their sacred spaces. 10. Purahurehu In Maori mythology, the Purahurehu is a creature associated with the sea and the art of navigation. It is described as a mermaid-like being with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a fish. The Purahurehu is believed to have the ability to control the winds and the tides, guiding sailors safely through treacherous waters. These enchanting beings are considered protectors of the ocean and are respected by seafarers who pay homage to them before embarking on their journeys. 11. Yowie the Yowie is a legendary creature from Australian Aboriginal folklore, often described as a large hairy humanoid resembling the North American Bigfoot or Yeti. It is believed to inhabit remote areas such as forests and mountains and is known for its elusiveness. The Yowie is associated with mystery and fear, with tales of its encounters instilling a sense of awe and caution among those who venture into its territory. 12. Ngariman in the Aboriginal mythology of the Kimberley region in Western Australia, the Ngariman is a creature resembling a giant hairy man with long arms and a hunched back. It is said to inhabit caves and is known for its strength and ferocity. The Ngariman is believed to be a guardian of sacred sites and is associated with both protection and danger. Its presence serves as a warning to respect the land and its spiritual significance. 13. Lagahu. The Lagahu is a creature from Trinidadian folklore, believed to be a shape-shifting spirit that haunts the night. It is described as a disheveled figure with wild, unkempt hair and one leg shorter than the other. The Lagahu is known for its eerie howls and is said to wander the streets, seeking to frighten or harm those who cross its path. It is often associated with curses and dark magic. 14. Marakihau The Marakihau is a creature from Cook Islands mythology, specifically from the island of Mangaia. It is a sea monster resembling a large shark or whale with the ability to fly. The Marakihau is feared by fishermen as it is believed to capsize boats and devour unsuspecting sailors. It is associated with the power of the ocean and the dangers of venturing too far from the safety of the shore. 15. Ngarara In Maori mythology, the Ngarara is a lizard-like creature with a long body and sharp teeth. It is associated with both land and water, inhabiting forests, swamps and bodies of water. The Ngarara is believed to be a guardian of certain areas and is known for its fierce nature. Legends warn against disturbing its territory as it may bring misfortune or harm to those who disrespect its domain. 16. Duende Duende, also known as Nuno Sapunso, are mythical creatures from Filipino folklore. They are believed to be small, gnome-like beings that dwell in anthills or termite mounds 
duende are mischievous but can be benevolent if treated with respect. They are known to protect their homes and may bring good fortune to those who acknowledge their presence. However, they can also play pranks or cast curses on those who disturb them. 17. Talisa The Talisa is a supernatural being from Samoan mythology, often described as a female spirit with the ability to control fire and water. Talisa are believed to be beautiful but dangerous, capable of both great love and great wrath. They are associated with volcanic activity and are said to inhabit lava caves and underwater realms. The Talisa embodies the power and unpredictability of nature. 18. Hairy Wild Men The Hairy Wild Men, also known as Mero or Menehuna, are creatures from Maori folklore in New Zealand. They are described as large, hairy humanoids with immense strength and agility. Hairy wild men are believed to inhabit dense forests and are associated with wilderness and the forces of nature. While they are generally depicted as shy and elusive, they can become aggressive if provoked or if their territory is threatened. 19. Mamau The Mamau is a creature from Marshallese folklore, specifically from the Marshall Islands. It is described as a malevolent spirit or monster that roams the night. The Mamau is said to have large, glowing eyes and sharp teeth. It is known for its ability to shapeshift and take on various forms to deceive and frighten its victims. 20. The Wulgaru In the mythology of the Torres Strait Islands, the Wulgaru is a fearsome water spirit. It is depicted as a giant, monstrous creature with the head of a crocodile and the body of a fish or serpent. The Wulgaru is believed to inhabit the deep waters surrounding the islands and is associated with dangerous currents and treacherous tides. It is often seen as a guardian of sacred sites and a symbol of the power and mystery of the sea. 21. Patupayarehe The Patupayarehe, also known as the Turehu, are mystical beings from Maori folklore. They are described as fair-skinned, ethereal humanoids who dwell in the forests and mountains of New Zealand. Patupayarehi are associated with beauty, music and enchantment. They are known to be skilled in traditional arts and crafts and often interact with humans through song and dance. 22. Gogodala The Gogodala is a legendary creature from the folklore of the Gogodala people of Papua New Guinea. It is believed to be a giant serpentine creature that inhabits rivers and swamps. The Gogodala is known for its immense size and strength, capable of devouring people who venture too close to its domain. It is often depicted in traditional art and stories as a powerful and fearsome guardian of the natural world. 23. Mimi In Australian Aboriginal folklore, the Mimi are slender, spirit-like beings that inhabit the rocky cliffs and caves of the Northern Territory and Western Australia. They are depicted as tall, thin figures with elongated limbs and sunken eyes. The Mimi are known for their agility and ability to scale steep rock faces. They are often depicted in rock art and are associated with teaching human survival skills and passing down cultural knowledge. 24. Patiti the Patiti is a creature from Fijian mythology, particularly from the island of Kadavu. It is described as a malevolent, shape-shifting spirit that takes the form of a flying, fire-breathing monster. The Patiti is said to terrorize villages and is associated with dark magic and curses. It is often depicted as a monstrous creature with sharp claws and fangs. 25. Ningen the Ningen is a modern urban legend originating from Japan, but it has gained popularity and folklore-like status in other parts of Oceania. It is described as a massive humanoid creature that dwells in the icy waters of the Antarctic. The Ningen is said to have a pale, blubbery body with human-like features. Sightings of the Ningen have been reported by fishermen and explorers, fueling speculation and mystery around its existence. 26. Tangaroa, God of the Sea In Polynesian mythology, Tangaroa is revered as the God of the Sea. 
Depicted as a powerful deity with control over the waters, Tangaroa is often associated with fertility, abundance, and the cycle of life. According to legend, Tangaroa is the progenitor of all sea creatures, and his domain extends from the surface of the ocean to its darkest depths. Tangaroa is depicted in various forms across different Polynesian cultures. In Maori mythology, he is known as Tangaroa Matua, the father of the sea, while in Hawaiian mythology, he is called Kanaloa, often depicted as a companion to the god of the sky, Kani. Regardless of the specific cultural context, Tangaroa is universally revered as a powerful and benevolent deity with offerings and rituals dedicated to him to ensure bountiful harvests and safe voyages at sea. 27. Kanaloa, Deity of the Underworld In Hawaiian mythology, Kanaloa is a deity often associated with the sea and the underworld. Alongside his counterpart Cain, the god of the sky, Kanaloa is considered one of the primary gods in the Hawaiian pantheon. While Cain represents light, life and creation, Kanaloa embodies darkness, death, and the mysteries of the deep ocean. Kanaloa is sometimes depicted as a counterpart to Tangaroa in other Polynesian cultures, sharing similar attributes as a god of the sea. However, in Hawaiian mythology, Kanaloa is also associated with healing, magic, and the spirit world. He is believed to possess the power to traverse the boundaries between the mortal realm and the afterlife, guiding souls on their journey to the underworld. 28. Mimiha The Mimiha is a creature from Maori mythology, particularly from the Waikato region of New Zealand. It is described as a large, monstrous, eel-like creature that inhabits deep waterways such as lakes and rivers. The Mimiha is known for its voracious appetite and is said to devour anything that enters its territory. It is associated with cautionary tales, warning people of the dangers lurking beneath the water's surface. 29. Nukala V. The Nukala V is a malevolent creature from Scottish folklore, but it is also known in the folklore of the Orkney Islands, located off the coast of Scotland. The creature is described as a horse-like being with a human torso fused to its back. It has no skin and emits a foul stench. The Nukalavi is associated with disease, famine, and disaster. It is believed to bring devastation to crops and livestock and is feared by the islanders. 30. Hokioi. The Hokioi, also known as the Puakai, is a legendary bird from Maori mythology. It is described as a giant eagle with a wingspan that can reach up to 8 meters, 26 feet. The Hokioi is said to prey on large animals, including humans. While believed to be extinct, the bird is a prominent figure in Maori folklore and often symbolizes power and supremacy. 31. Karoma – Spirits of the Dead Karoma are spirits of the dead from Melanesian mythology, believed to inhabit the underworld and oversee the realm of the ancestors. According to legend, Karoma are benevolent beings that guide the souls of the departed to their final resting place, ensuring that they are reunited with their ancestors and welcomed into the afterlife. In some Melanesian cultures, Karoma are venerated through rituals and ceremonies that honor the ancestors and seek their blessings and protection. Offerings of food, drink, and other offerings are made to appease the spirits and ensure their continued goodwill towards the living. 32. Huldufolk The Huldufolk, meaning hidden people in Icelandic, are supernatural beings from Icelandic folklore. They are believed to be elves or hidden folk that inhabit rocks, mountains, and other natural landscapes. The Huldufolk are said to be invisible to most humans, but can choose to reveal themselves to those they trust. They are associated with nature and are often portrayed as guardians or protectors of the land. 33. Tao Tao Mona Ancestral Spirits of Guam In Chamorro mythology, Tao Tao Mona 
are ancestral spirits revered as guardians of the land and the protectors of the Chamorro people of Guam. Believed to inhabit ancient trees, caves and other natural landmarks, Tao Tao Mona are said to watch over the island and its inhabitants, ensuring their well-being and prosperity. According to legend, Tao Tao Mona are benevolent beings that offer guidance and protection to those who respect them and the land they inhabit. However, they are also known to be fiercely protective of their territory, punishing those who disrespect or desecrate their sacred sites. 34. Pompey's Devil Bird, Guardian of Nan Madol. The Devil Bird is a legendary creature from Pompeian mythology, believed to inhabit the ruins of Nan Madol, an ancient city built on a series of artificial islands in the federated states of Micronesia. According to legend, the Devil Bird is a guardian spirit that watches over Nan Madol and its secrets, warding off intruders and protecting the sacred site from harm. The Devil Bird is said to have the ability to shapeshift into various forms, including that of a giant bird with glowing eyes and a piercing cry. It is often depicted as a malevolent being that brings misfortune to those who dare to disturb its domain, making it a feared and respected figure in Pohnpeian folklore. 35. Chuk's Ghost Fleet – Haunted Shipwrecks Chuk Lagoon, located in the Federated States of Micronesia, is home to one of the largest collections of shipwrecks in the world, dating back to World War II. According to local legend, these sunken vessels are haunted by the spirits of the sailors who perished during the war, making them a popular destination for ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts. The ghost fleet of Chuk is said to be inhabited by vengeful spirits seeking retribution for their untimely deaths with numerous reports of eerie sightings and unexplained phenomena surrounding the wrecks. Despite the risks, Chuk Lagoon remains a popular diving destination, attracting visitors from around the world who are drawn to its rich history and supernatural allure. 36. Urmahlulu The Urmahlulu is a creature from Babylonian and Assyrian mythology, but it is also found in the folklore of the Marshallese people in the Marshall Islands. It is depicted as a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a man. The Urmalulu is associated with power and protection, often depicted as a guardian figure at the entrances of temples and palaces. 37. Luska The Luska is a sea monster from Caribbean folklore, particularly found in the legends of the Bahamas. It is described as a massive hybrid creature with the upper body of an octopus or squid and the lower body of a shark or fish. The Luska is believed to dwell in underwater caves and is feared by fishermen and sailors for its ability to drag them into the depths. It represents the mysterious and dangerous nature of the ocean. 38. Wallow the Wallow is a creature from the folklore of the Solomon Islands, specifically from the island of Malaita. It is described as a large amphibious creature resembling a crocodile or reptile. The Wallow is known for its cunning and is said to lure unsuspecting victims into the water, where it devours them. It is associated with cautionary tales about the dangers of venturing too close to the water's edge. 39. Aitvaras, Lithuanian spirit in Melanesia. The Aitvaras is a mythical creature from Lithuanian folklore that is said to have found its way into Melanesian mythology through cultural exchange and trade. Described as a household spirit or familiar, the Aitvaras is believed to bring prosperity and good fortune to those who treat it kindly. In Melanesian tradition, the Aitvaras is often depicted as a small, bird-like creature with magical abilities, including the power to grant wishes and perform acts of mischief. It is said to reside in the rafters or chimney of a household, where it watches over the inhabitants and protects them from harm. 40. Olifat, the Giant of Palau Olifat is a legendary figure from Palawan mythology 
revered as a powerful giant with supernatural abilities. According to legend, Olifat is said to have created the islands of Palau by scooping up handfuls of earth from the ocean floor and piling them on top of each other to form the archipelago. In addition to his role as a creator deity, Olifat is also credited with shaping the landscape of Palau and populating it with plants, animals and humans. He is revered as a benevolent figure that watches over the islanders and ensures their well-being and prosperity. 41. Ulamba, Giant Eel of Solomon Islands Ulamba is a mythical creature from Solomon Islands folklore, believed to inhabit the rivers, lakes and swamps of the islands. Described as a giant eel with the ability to shapeshift into human form, Ulamba is said to possess supernatural powers and the ability to control the elements. According to legend, Ulamba is a guardian spirit that watches over the waters of Solomon Islands, protecting them from harm and ensuring the well-being of the ecosystems they support. However, Ulamba is also feared by the islanders, who believe that crossing paths with the creature can bring bad luck or misfortune. Oceania, a vast region encompassing the islands of the Pacific Ocean, is home to a rich tapestry of cultures and mythologies. From the Polynesians in the east to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in the west, Oceania boasts a diverse range of folklore that often revolves around the sea. In this exploration of creatures and monsters of Oceania folklore, we will delve into the myths and legends of this enchanting region, examining the fascinating beings that inhabit its waters and shores. From fearsome sea serpents to mischievous spirits, these creatures are not only a testament to the vibrant imagination of the people, but also serve as a reflection of their deep connection to the ocean and its mysteries. The creatures and monsters of Oceania folklore offer a glimpse into the rich mythologies and cultural heritage of the region. From New Zealand to Australia, Hawaii to the Pacific Islands, the diverse peoples of Oceania have developed a tapestry of legends and stories that reflect their deep connection to the ocean and the natural world. These creatures, whether fearsome or enchanting, serve as reminders of the power and mystery of the sea, as well as the delicate balance between humans and the realm of spirits. Exploring the folklore of Oceania provides a fascinating insight into the beliefs and values of these cultures, highlighting their reverence for nature and the enduring traditions that have shaped their communities for generations. Thank you for watching. See you soon.